Fallsburg. Here we go. All right, folks, uh, joining us once again, uh, former chairman of the House Intelligence Committee and former Republican congressman from Michigan, and uh, now, of course, uh, with his involvement with uh, LigNet. And by the way, for in-depth analysis and forecasting on the downed uh, Malaysian airliner, go to LigNet.com. And uh, Congressman, thanks for sticking around. Um, let's, let's move over to the Middle East now. And uh, Israel uh, uh, dropped leaflets in, I think, 14 towns in Gaza, warning people to get out. And today they... Uh, showed why they did that. They uh, have launched their ground invasion. Uh, do you believe that, uh, that they used in some way, uh, and it's unfortunate they have to do this, uh, the uh, downed Malaysian airliner uh, as kind of media cover for them to do this so that the focus wouldn't be on, uh, on their uh, invasion with the uh, tote board of dead Palestinians? No, I don't think so. I think what you're seeing is you know to launch a kind of a ground attack into Gaza you've got to have the planning you've got to have everything in place uh, clearly the Israelis were planning on doing this they felt it was necessary to protect their citizens uh, to keep uh, Israel safe and secure it's a coincidence that both of these things happened today all right and uh, what do you think will uh, come out of this I mean you know this is something they went into Lebanon uh, in a ground uh, war as well and uh, you know never finished off Hezbollah uh, I, I would hope they would find a way to finish off Hamas or at least the threat of Hamas for many 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 years to come um, if that's going to be the case they're going to be there for a long time uh, many many days uh, with many many tunnels and many many uh, uh, people to go after I would imagine yeah they're going to be able to uh, you know deliver Hamas a significant setback. They will not eliminate the threat from Hamas. Uh, they will severely damage Hamas's capability, uh, but ultimately the Israelis will pull back to you know their secure borders. Uh, they will move out of the Gaza and Hamas uh, will reconstitute itself. The question will be how long will that take? But again, here what you're seeing uh, in Gaza uh, and with the Israelis, you know, the U.S., not and the, the president really not having a great relationship at all uh, with the Israeli government, the U.S. not being trusted by the Israeli government and by the Israeli people anymore. Uh, the Palestinians, Hamas, and that saw that as an opportunity to challenge Israel. Events spin out of control, and now we've got uh, you know this invasion by Israel. We've got the rockets coming into Israel. Uh, it's just one ugly mess, and that's whether you're talking about Ukraine, whether you're talking about Israel uh, and Hamas, or whether you're talking about Libya or Iraq. Uh, leading from behind does not work. Yep. And Congressman, I just want to point out that uh, CNN is reporting that uh, U.S. officials are now confirming that they uh, believe the plane, the Malaysian airliner, was shot down. I appreciate your, right. your uh, time, uh, Congressman, again, and for in-depth analysis, again, and forecasting on the down Malaysian airliner, go to lignet.com. We'll be back with Dick Morris and our Road to the White House segment. But first, here's Dr. Chauncey Crandall to talk about cholesterol and food. If you have high cholesterol, you probably think that taking a statin drug is the best way to lower it. After all, why wouldn't you? Statins are among the most prescribed drugs in the world. But although they are great medications to those who truly need them, other people can lower their cholesterol just by adding certain foods to their diet. Here are the three cholesterol-lowering foods that you'll find at your supermarket. Number one is oatmeal. Oatmeal is a potent cholesterol-lowering food because oats are a soluble fiber. This means that they absorb the excess cholesterol in your digestive system and carry it out of your body. In addition, oatmeal also helps prevent diabetes and cancer as well. In fact, research shows that eating oatmeal on a regular basis can be as effective as taking a statin. Second, choose salmon over beef and you'll be replacing a food packed with cholesterol-raising saturated fat with one rich in monounsaturated fat. This is the type of good fat that makes salmon taste fattening, but it's not. Salmon is also packed with omega-3 fatty acids, which lower triglycerides, another dangerous blood fat. Third, if it's mid-afternoon and you're craving a snack, grab a handful of almonds. Eating almonds every day lowers your bad LDL cholesterol 
by about 9%. Almonds are also packed with other vitamins as well, but the best thing about almonds is that they don't taste like a health food. Almonds contain no cholesterol and are also packed with healthy, monounsaturated oils. Since most of you are already reading my book, The Simple Heart Cure, I want you to go to chapter 11, in which I tell you about foods that can help you lower your cholesterol. I'm Dr. Chauncey Crandall, and thanks for watching this Health Minute. I'll see you next time. Get your copy of Dr. Crandall's best-selling book, The Simple Heart Cure, for just $4.95 with this special offer. Go to www.simpleheartbook.com to get your copy today. That's simpleheartbook.com.